Hey guys, Ivan here at IvanManner.com. In this video, I want to address a common question I've been getting lately, which is what option do I select in Microsoft Ads if I don't have the manual bid option? So if you've been watching my videos and I'm, I'm sure other YouTubers videos as well, uh, you might have seen us select this manual bid option because my account is four years old. So this option is still stuck with me, but for newer accounts, apparently they have removed this option. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the three things you can do if you don't have the manual CPC bid option. That being said, let's get into it. So the one thing you can do right now to get this manual option back for your campaigns is contact support. Now, I haven't personally done this because like I said, my account's four years old, I have nothing to talk to them about. But based on the comments I've been reading through some of my videos, I, I have learned that some people had success with this. So what you would do is head over to help. You can either call them, talk to them over the phone, or if you start a live chat, just select that option, say you, you need help and say, hello, I would like access, I would like to access the manual CPC bid option. And I'm guessing what you would wanna say is that, hey, I want a little bit more control. I'm a little bit more familiar with Microsoft ads. I'm following training courses and I know what I'm doing. So this would be the only way for you to enable this option. You can do that. You can reach out to them. You can wait for what they say. If you don't like the solution, if you want something immediate, there are two alternatives you can take and that is enhanced CPC and maximize clicks. So these are the two different options you can take and what is the difference between them? So let's start with the top enhanced CPC. So enhanced CPC is actually very similar to manual bid. It is pretty much the same thing. So if you select enhanced CPC, right, let's, let's scroll down, let's go to save. If you go back into the keywords, you will still be able to adjust the bid for each of your individual keywords. So if we go back to keywords, it's gonna be pretty much like manual bid. The only difference is that it says enhanced here and what's gonna happen is Microsoft ads or Bing ads will sometimes spend a little bit more. So for example, if you click here, you can go ahead and you can set, you know, 50 cents for this keyword. You know, this keyword's doing well. Let's say this keyword's doing very poorly. You wanna reduce it to 30 cents. You can do that and that's with enhanced. So it's again, it's really similar, but sometimes Microsoft ads will spend more. So even though I said here, for example, 30 cents, oops, I did that by accident. Uh, even though I said it at 30 cents, sometimes Microsoft ads will spend a little bit more than 30 cents if they think that they can get a click because the objective of this campaign we selected was traffic. So, you know, Google's trying to focus on getting as much traffic as possible. So if it thinks it can get a click for 35 cents, it will pay 35 and you're gonna overpay on your bid. So that's one option, uh, but this allows you to control every one of your keywords, right? So if you do wanna select this option and you are tight on budget, maybe you wanna set it to a little bit lower. So if your budget is, for example, 45 cents, maybe you wanna set your CPC to maybe 35 cents or something. So that is this enhanced CPC strategy. Let's go on to the, to the other option here we had, which is maximize clicks. What's the difference? So let's click on maximize clicks. This one I don't really like, and I'll explain to you why. Uh, so if you click on maximize clicks, the upside of this is that you can set a maximum. So if you don't set a maximum, then Microsoft ads is literally going to give you as many clicks as possible in as short of a time period as possible. So what you do want to do is you do want to set a maximum. And then here, the good side is that you can set the maximum, for example, 45 cents, right? So if you do that, boom, now you will not be paying more than 45 cents per click. Awesome, right? Way better than manual bid. No, so the downside of this is that now your clicks are automated for all your ad groups. You cannot change individual keyword bids. So if you've been following my other videos, my case study where I show you how to optimize campaigns, how to do well, and this looks like it didn't update yet. With this option, maximize clicks, you will not be able to go in and adjust the bid for each individual keyword. So if you find keywords that are doing well or keywords that aren't doing very well, you wanna reduce the bid a little bit, you can't do that. See here, I can't, you're basically leaving it up to Microsoft ads to maximize and get as many clicks within kind of this budget, budget of being 45 cents per click, but you cannot adjust individual keywords. So that's the difference between maximize clicks and enhanced CPC. Again, just to recap, enhanced CPC, you can set a bid for each individual keyword, but then Microsoft ads will sometimes pay a little bit more to get clicks. And then if you select the maximize clicks option and you set the amount, then you will be able to set a maximum cost per click for your campaign, but the downside is that you cannot go in and micromanage and set an individual bid for each of your keywords. So my solution to you, what I would suggest, what I would probably do, is I would probably go with the enhanced CPC option, and then what I would do is I would 
set my bid a little bit lower. And then you can just test it. Let it run for a few hours and just observe. Make sure that you're not overpaying. Sometimes they do charge quite a bit more. So definitely keep that in mind. If you wanna be really, really conservative, then uh, in this case, maximize clicks and setting an amount would be your best bet while you reach out to support and see if it works. Also, I don't know how long reaching out to support will be in effect and how long it'll be helpful for. Uh, you know, as Microsoft Ads catches on and as these new advertisers keep writing in, they can do one of two things. They can either re-enable manual bids after seeing how useful it is to people or B, they can just remove that option entirely, not even give people access, even if you contact support. So just keep that in mind. And these are the other two options that you have. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure to check out my channel at Ivan Mana on YouTube and my website, ivanmana.com, where I give you a free affiliate marketing guide to help you get started with affiliate marketing and teach you how you can make money starting today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.